Good afternoon, everybody. I am proud to be here at this press conference in support of the CDFI network. Before I ran for office, I spent 15 years working in the field of economic development. And so some of the folks who are here today, these are faces of folks who I've worked with for a long time, even before I got to the legislature. These are organizations that know how to deploy capital to our smallest businesses and our Main Street businesses, our women-owned businesses and our minority-owned businesses. These are the organizations who've been doing this work for a very long time, and yet when the pandemic hit and when we had an urgent need to get capital into the hands of our Pennsylvania businesses who needed it most, these are the folks who sprang into action. And in a very short time, they were able to deploy almost $250 million to almost 15,000 Pennsylvania small businesses. Let's give them a hand for that. When the businesses in my district in Delaware County were struggling, I called Jim Burnett and asked if he would do an online workshop to help businesses in my community understand how to apply for the grant money that the, the state had at the time. Um, these, are, these are organizations that are instrumental in providing technical assistance to new and emerging businesses and growing Pennsylvania businesses. Now, when I was elected, I was frustrated to learn at the time that we had no grant programs that were only eligible for Pennsylvania small businesses. Uh, many of the programs that we had eight years ago, out-of-state companies could access to. But the businesses that these folks serve, they are the job creators, especially now in this economy. We know that when money is spent at a locally owned independent business here in Pennsylvania, three times as much money circulates in the local economy. That's because they hire the folks down the street. It's because they use a locally owned print house. It's because they have local accountants. Um, and so when we are in investing money in these businesses and deploying it through community development financial institutions, this money is hitting the ground in exactly the way that we need. And so my, my hope is that you know the Department of Community and Economic Development, and as we negotiate this year's budget, that we're able to put more money into the community development finance institution network here in Pennsylvania. You see bipartisan support, the Republican leader. I serve as a member of House Democratic leadership, if we come together, this is an issue that we should be able to support in this year's budget and ongoing after that. 